Welcome to video number five of building a estimating or estimating with uh, Excel for small contractors. Um, I'm just going to, this is our basic bill worksheet, is what I call it. Um, I'm going to clean up a couple of things here. I want this tax calculation to move over. I want to take the top, those two levels, and I want to. Um, put all borders so all cells have a border. I want to, uh, my total job cost, I want to emphasize that a little bit more. So I'm going to put a, uh, a thick border all the way around that. Same thing with my estimate cost. I'm going to make a thick border all the way around that. Uh, these headers need to be a little larger. That'll do. I'm going to add color to the ro the column that has worker number two in it. Um, most of my invoices I try to bill weekly if I can, so that I don't need have I don't need a lot of columns or a lot of rows there. I'll stick with uh, green because green is uh, our labor. That way, as I'm working this, I can keep track of these as far as column number one, column number two, column number three. You can also put uh, all borders in if you want. I prefer not to work that way. Um, shoot. Okay, I just had to work with the uh, screencast a minute to to get to my uh, back button. I'm going to have to do the same thing to get into uh, invoices. That's really all I want to do with uh, the sheet here. Now I'm going to show you how we can uh, add an invoice to our basic uh, workbook so that we can keep... My, my goal is to keep everything onto one workbook. So I have my estimate worksheet and then later I'll add an estimate letter or a bid proposal and then once I do the job, then I have uh, I can track my invoices, I can track my hours, and then I can do an invoice. Here's the invoice that my practice invoice that I worked on this morning, and I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. I have to play a little bit with the uh, screencast-o-matic. Just go to uh, Microsoft uh, templates or Excel templates. Take you to this page, go on down to categories, look for invoices, and then you have a wide variety of things to choose from. Um, this one has too much information, too many columns for me. It's not what I'm interested in. This, uh, now let me see here. This is the one that I want, and I'm gonna. I've already got that downloaded. I did, just thought I'd show you what the uh, what it looks like. Okay, invoice that calculates. I'm going to uh, highlight the whole invoice. I'm going to press copy. I'm going to go back to my, uh, here's our basic worksheet. It's called YouTube for this example. Go up here, paste it in. Okay. Um, this, this invoice has some things I don't like about it. And I'll show you. I don't really want a third column here. I just want two columns. One to describe what I did and one to bill out the amount. I'm going to delete this column. From past experience, I know that um, what I want is approximately 63 for my column width. And for this, I'm going to want my column width to be 26. Now I'm going
going to uh, if I I should tell you what I'm doing here. Go up to this symbol and it's a print preview. And that's a preview of what our uh, invoice will look like. But the good thing about doing print preview is, is now I've got these lines here that tell me what size my uh, page is going to be. So if I want to make this column a little larger, I can see that now I'm onto two sheets of paper. Go back to the, use the back button. Okay. Um, I usually don't use this. I usually don't you, um, number my invoices, my project or service description. I usually do that down here in larger print. Kitchen remodel. And we're going to want the print on that to be slightly larger. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to want the font to be larger on my... Somehow it's supposed to say invoice here. I don't know how we lost that. Invoice. I'm going to make that larger. One of the other things I'm going to do is on this whole sheet I'm going to change my font. Rid of bold. Okay. Invoice we're going to make larger. Apparently that's a different color. I'm going to go with uh, standard black on that. No, I did the wrong thing there. I put the. Uh, I want to have my color automatic. Still have my. Uh, Invoice, I might make bolder. Okay, our company name is going to be uh, Contractor Talk. We're going to get rid of company slogan. I am just going to eliminate that row. With the phone number, I don't want that. Um, company name, usually I'm billing a customer, a uh, homeowner, I'm usually not billing a, uh, a company. So I'm going to delete that row. I'm going to use, put these into uh, size 12 print. Actually, I can do everything up here. Let's just go back. I want everything on this level to be uh, size 12. These I'm going to move over so that I can get them in a window envelope. That's about right. This I want to move up under contractor talk. My street address will be 20, 258. 7th Avenue. Um, this is any town, Iowa, 51038. And our phone number is going to be 712-938-5500. Uh, Okay, um, I'm going to put this as no fill, so there's no color here. I am going to put some color here, here, here. I could have hit control and done that too. In fact, I think I want uh, all my top header to be the same color. Contractor Talk, I want slightly larger. And our company name is Contractor Talk. This, uh, my total, I'm going to put uh, some color into that. Now, let me see. I'm going to move this. 
this. Let me see if it'll move. Nope. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Better is just type it in caps lock. See, I spelled some things wrong there. I'm going to eliminate this. And um, this, this row is redundant. I already have my contact information up here. So I'm just going to eliminate that. I'm going to make all checks payable to, uh, to our company name, which is Contractor Talk. see I have a lot of extra spaces and you can see that there's some funky things going on with the format here these rows this cell goes all the way through this row goes all the way through this column that's going to give you headaches later so um, try not to use those I'm, I'm not going to use any fill down there I'm going to use all my uh, I can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can get it nine or ten um, rows in here. I'm going to insert some rows. And you can see I'm right on the line. I might just take one out just to make sure because I know that when I start changing font above that that's going to screw that up. Let's go back to uh, print preview and take a look at what our uh, invoice looks like. I'm going to uh, yeah, I don't like that, but I'm going to put a uh, uh, thick border all the way around. I think I'm going to move this down. take this I'm going to cut it put it in down here and paste I'm leaving that mistake in there just and I'm going to this is going to be uh, total I'm going to increase the font on that a bit and I'm going to align that on the right hand side of the column I also want that cell to have some color in it. Now I would like uh, this whole cell to have a uh, thick border, or this whole or, uh, row. I want this column to have a thick border. I want the whole sheet to have a thick border. Put a border on this, a thick border here, thick border here, um, right below um, my date. I'm going to add some color, and I'm going to uh, write up a simple term: payment due upon re receipt. I can increase the font on that slightly. Thick border, thick border. I might want to have slightly larger print up there. My invoice, I can have larger print. That's a funky color. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. That's how, and you can see as I've increased font, I've taken my make all checks payable to contractor to talk. So I'm going to delete a row, and I've got no time left on this, so I'm going to stop this video pretty soon and make uh, video number six.